All right, hello all, and it's that time again for more Arch Linux slash Manjaro torture. And this time I'm running uh, Manjaro 1606 release candidate one, I believe. And this is off the live USB on my main system. I'll just go through uh, the way I have to basically uh, set it up to boot. Uh, in this case, I'm going to triple boot, which is would be Windows on a uh, separate uh, drive, uh, Arch Linux, XFCE, on another hard drive, uh, solid state drive, and Manjaro Linux on that same drive. Uh, so with any luck, I can open a terminal and, uh, well, let's see, Control T, oh yeah, it opens the drop down, that's fine. So I'll just do SU. And remember, this is live, so you're not going to get prompted for a password, I don't believe. Obviously, I didn't there. So, uh, G parted. And I can zoom in. Yes, I can. Uh, G parted slash device STB. And give that a second to fire up. There we go. And there you can see this is Arch64. 10 gigabytes used. Uh, what I actually would suggest, if it's there, is uh, let's open that terminal and I'll close this down again. Apologies. Okay, I'll have to download. I would strongly suggest doing a clone. So, uh, Pac-Man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> dash, dash S uh, clone Zilla. I hope it's in the repos. There it is there. So, I'll give that a bit of time to download. All right, uh, clone Zilla is now. Um, installed for us so clonezilla just run that uh, work with device image basically you just keep pressing enter and it'll look through the partitions and whatever free space you have on any partition maybe the exception with the exception of windows uh, I'm gonna use uh, this one here device SDD you just press enter Top level directory, press center to continue. Expert mode is very simple. Save disk and give it a name. Uh, what's the date? It's in uh, 15. What is the date today? Anybody know? 19th. So it's gonna, you can call it anything you wish. Uh, arch 2016 19 05. Press OK. And give that some time. I'll zoom in and I want the device SDB press tab and OK and priority and the only thing you have to do well, that's why you use uh, expert mode on <laughs> Un, uh, unselect deselect sorry <laughs> uh, with a space bar the dash C client waits and that's it and then OK parallel and no I'm gonna skip checking no, I don't want to encrypt, and then press enter to do nothing after it finishes. Oh, and press enter, continue. And we should see something come up in a second. There it is. So it's getting the uh, image ready to uh, write. So a couple of minutes or so to write to the uh, drive that I specified. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so uh, that's it. So press enter and it's done so back to our terminal and G parted all right so we can now resize this so we'll right click and resize move and free spaced after say 50 and then one two three press tab and uh, it'll be 50 gigabytes after approximately 48 uh, megs or so gigs sorry and apply operation and uh, give this some time it's fairly quick on a solid state drive and it's done all right so we have our partition ready uh, to install Manjaro alongside Arch Linux on the same drive and the usual drill forwards and uh, your territory um, let's go with the United States good enough uh, somewhere in America. You notice here it says use NTP for clock. 
Uh, I believe that's on when it's uh, grayed like that. So there we go. All right, uh, time looks right. So forward. Uh, nope. I'm gonna watch this. Uh, keyboard layout would be uh, United States for me. So okay. So the most important set set step. I'm so sorry. Is uh, how would you like to proceed? Um, I'm going to choose exactly where to install. Uh, Manjaro should be installed. And then uh, forward. And we want the free space here on device SD nothing. <laughs> I'm kidding around. So just after Arch Linux, the 52 gigs as it's seeing it. And another important step, I want the grub to be on not SDA but SDB. All right and it's root and we check new uh let's give a name uh a name a label manjaro man 64 sure why not you can always change that later or just not use it uh mount point is just the roots beginning of the production apply give that a second and okay so the format flag is there it's checked extension for root boot is on the device sdb gotta watch that because i don't want it on the, the windows partition all right uh let's see what happens now uh sdb no encrypt label format new yes okay apply and then the usual stuff username and password Okay, so after the username and password, you just hit next and it just installs. And uh, when it's done, uh, you just hit yes or no to restart. So I'm just going to leave that <laughs> as it is. Run a terminal and uh, go back into super user and F disk uh, dash list. And let's do device SDB. There we go. And the boot flag is on the Manjaro partition. Uh, so you can maybe mount slash device SD. No, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So let's get out of here. And uh, I'm going to restart now. And uh, I'll continue this video and hopefully fix the crackling audio. Um, apologies for that. And oh, one more thing, sorry, is this is running off NVIDIA driver. Uh, if I look for NV, NV. There it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I'll be back in a flash. All right. Uh, unfortunately for everyone, I'm back. <laughs> and uh, everything went extremely well. Uh, everything's intact. Arch Linux is still there. Um, my Windows is still there. I logged into each one and everything is right on. So the uh, grub bootloader did load to where I asked it to, uh, so that's great. Uh, the NVIDIA proprietary drivers are already installed, so I didn't have to install them uh, manually or after the fact because I selected non-free mode um, when I first booted the ISO. So I've made some customizations already and just some things I like to do. Uh, I usually use the terminal as is, so I changed the just the basic terminal to this Control Alt T, and I did a I installed LeafPad, and it's not acting too good because of the GTK scene. But uh, let me see here. I'm still in the middle of uh, tweaking this, so tweak and accessibility, and press go to the uh, accessibility tab and. I usually use the shift key to zoom in, see, so it's working. And use mouse wheel to roll up, I usually do that in workspaces, use use mouse wheel to uh, switch, I untick that as well. Compositor, I'm going to just leave it as it is. Okay, so sudo leapad etsy fs tab. Password, I just left it in as default. Under the very first entry the UUID 
extension for, which is where Manjaro is installed. Uh, it had uh, discards, a uh, discard or discards. I just took that out for, for some reason. I always get uh, hitching or stuttering or just pauses when I have that on. So I just took that out and had it left it to set it to defaults, no A time, and then the rest of the flags. And I have another drive, NTFS3G. UID, my username, GID is users and zero zero because we, we're not going to have a file system check on a NTFS drive. You have to use Windows for that. And this temp file system, I just left it as it was. And no hitches at that time for uh, FS tab. Another thing is the web browser. Okay, make me a liar. <laughs> Usually it takes a while. To, let me see if I have Firefox or anything different. There we go. Okay, now there's a difference there. Isn't that interesting? It's taken a while to start, if it even does. And it's just not starting. Oh, there it is. Uh, usually what I do is, uh, again, sudo leaf. It won't let me tab complete uh, Etsy host, hosts with an S. And change the local domain to my what I gave my computer name. So whatever you uh, specified uh, in your setup. Save and close, and let's try to fire up Fire. There it is. Okay, now it might be because it was in memory, but you notice it came up much quicker. So let's try the web browser. Okay, I find that for some reason that setting seems to help with Firefox starting up. And move on. Uh, there isn't much else to say. It's working uh, really well. I uh, just uh, you can customize the menu through uh, right-click, edit applications. You can uh, add or remove, change icons, and so on through here. It's really nice. It's called Menu Libra. And in an Arch Linux, it's from the AUR, Arch Linux User Repository. So, mugshot. Select from stock. And we got a ton of icons. And uh, as I mentioned before, thank you so much, Oberon, for uh, doing this. So, <laughs> you can put, uh, I think that's his, there you go. Okay, and apply. There you go. Now you have a, a logo up there for your besides your username and of course I changed the behavior of the whisker whisker menu yes uh, properties I don't use application descriptions as you see here there's no descriptions on these commands uh, behavior I check I check yeah check all of these and that's it I like it like that the menu at the bottom kind of like a Windows 7 ish kind of look and you notice there's no uh, launcher icons, which is fine. There's no no problem there. And when I open uh, File Manager, I change that to Alt H. So customizable. Uh, this XFCE desktop. Uh, go to Control L, USR, Share Applications, and just uh, let me go back one. Okay, there we go. USR slash share, right click, send to side panel. And where to go? Applications. I usually rename this. There we go. So now we'll go into that, the application menu, and NVIDIA uh, X Zorg settings. And if you open it with uh, LeafPad, what I tacked on as a uh, super user to edit the file is a GKSU to bring that up so it'll last you for a password because you can't run it some settings without administrative privileges so NVIDIA Zorg server and there you go there's a GKSU kicking in and there you go and I did install an NV doc NVIDIA doc and you go to your settings and I change the uh, Variable to allow uh, cool bits. Apply and quit. And that's in the, let's go back to the home folder. 
uh, Etsy X11 under this directory, mhwd.d, and NVIDIA config. Again, you have to edit this as super user as root. And under where it has device option, you just throw that in option, cool bits and quotes. And, that's, uh, and again, another option is four for the thermal settings. Save and restart. And if we look on the side where it has devices, there's my all my file systems. Uh, there's Arch Linux here. And under mirror, uh, remember I saved the Arch Linux image, and there it is. 2016, uh, 2016, 1905, and it's uh, fairly sizable because I have a lot of stuff installed. Uh, 3.4 gigs. So that's a backup using uh, uh, Clonezilla. Okay, and just easy enough to unmount, and we're done. And moving along, everything is is uh, running really well for a release candidate. It's uh, really impressive. Uh, congratulations uh, to everyone uh, that's working on Monjero. And uh, I'm going to look at add remove software. And uh, I had a question about uh, how I get uh, my panel uh, settings with uh, icons. So I'm going to search in the AUR. Just go to... Uh, Preferences, supply your uh, user password and AUR, and just make sure that's on. And you can toggle on and off to search, or you can do it by default or check for updates, which I should as well. Oop, there we go. All right, and now we're going to toggle search AUR. I use a program called Doc Bar X. There we go. That came in really quick, so I'll check that. And I believe it's this one. And hmm. And I'm not sure. There's a there's a theme that I use as well. Um, I can look up at that in uh, separately. So I'll just apply. And hopefully this will work. So it's uh, let me see. Go to details, details, and uh, it's uh, downloading. It's uh, build dependencies and so on so I'll be back in a second and there's the uh, doc bar X shiny theme. whoops didn't mean to do that shiny theme just look for shiny and then uh, we'll just click apply and commit pretty cool stuff I love it okay so from there I just uh, I'll just use uh, the panel oh interesting panel zero a great idea actually so let me see if there's items in here. Uh, there he is. Okay, so I'll close and then we'll go to our start settings. Uh, it's uh, dock bar preferences. And the theme is the uh, horizontal shiny bar. There we go. And back to our panel items. I'm going to move the, remove the window buttons. Answer yes, and move dock bar right up to the whisker menu. Okay. So let's open uh, Firefox, for example, and then right click and pin application. There we go. We'll open our home folder again. Uh, pin uh, pin application and uh, say. One more for now, terminal, and same idea. So, there we go. Under the advanced setting and dock bar X preferences, you can uh, use Unity style shortcuts, super and number. I don't know if that'll work though, because it's both left and right. You can change that though. Yeah, it won't work. So, simple enough. We'll just go to our keyboard, application shortcuts, and there's two whisker menu entries, I believe right there so I'm just going to remove the super right I'm going to remove and see what happens so super right key and one there we go super right key and two and super right key three and panel you make this a bit larger say oh yeah let's put it 60 <laughs> I uh, usually 37. There we go. Okay, so I have it so that you show uh, previews, 
And if you click on the preview, it will minimize and maximize. And there's a little close button right there. And that's it. Okay, so sorry for taking up so, so much of your time. There's so many things you can tweak with XFCE and the uh, Manjaro, Manjaro sorry, desktop. All right, so I'll leave you with that, and uh, that should do it for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.